All right, you guys, here I am at uh, Flat Branch Park in Columbia, Missouri. I decided to have another one of these uh, park entry uh, thingy my bobbers. And as you can see around me, all greenery. Ignore the uh, audio for a second. Green, 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 green. Green. Look at this. Green everywhere. But, unfortunately, my battery's running out. Unfortunately, we are right, not unfortunately, but truth be told, hidden behind the curtain. Let's see if I can even get up here. We are hidden behind the power plant. Oh, the power plant. One of the two power plants for the city of Columbia. Now what I was going to do is I'm going to walk through this creek a little bit, do a little bit of uh, the path. The pathway is right above here, right up there if you can see it. And uh, just show you a little bit of uh, Flat Branch Park. Alright, so here we go. Look at this, isn't that calm? See that rushing water over there, going over the cliffs? We're going to go this way. I should say back, back in that direction, behind that bridge, if you can see it. Um, it's still part of the city and it's still urban, but there's actually a large undeveloped area that a this thing called the Katy Trail goes through. And uh, it's one of the uh, best walking places in Columbia. It's highly used. A lot of people use this flat branch. This is an extension of the Katy Trail right here, but this flat branch park path up above me. But I decided to come down to the river level, at least for a little bit. All right, let's try to cross. This could get dicey. There we go. It's nice. Hey, Mukozemas, whatever they say, Japan. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. There we go. It's got a little bit of water, but we'll be okay. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of nice, makes a nice little picture. Hey! Got some rubbish. You guys can see that. I got a good cola pen. And also, I've noticed quite a bit down here are these dead. Ooh, they're all over the place down here. So I'll have an opportunity to see plenty of these. But these dead. Worms. Seal oil runoff right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what's up with this phenomenon. Because they look dead. I don't know if just worms bury their burrow their way in the wrong direction and then suffocate under the water. Maybe they're alive and they're just dormant or something. I don't know. It seems weird. Anyway. Yeah, see, there's a good look at the power plant. Big pole right there. On those trees. Let's keep going. Keep going! By the way, you guys, this battery is really low. I didn't realize that when I grabbed the camera today. So, if it just randomly gives out, I guess we'll, uh, we'll call that the deal. And then move on. But if we make it to the uh, end of the park, which is, I don't know, a quarter mile down this way, uh, all the better, I guess nice. It's got some roots, got some rubbish there too. So now this is what I really like. Look at this. See that babbling book right there? Very nice. Up that way. I might have the camera a little high. Let's try to get it down a little bit. There you go. Very nice. All right. Back up onto dry land. Now I'll tell you, even though it is the second day of April, 
it feels like it's the first part of June. It's probably 85 degrees out here and humid, so as you can see, I'm sweating quite profusely. I don't really have too much to say while making this uh, video. Uh, I just kind of wanted to uh, do some filming and wanted to see what you guys thought. It looks like this is a uh, concrete retainer wall right here. That is not uh, nature made. Try to cross over that other side. It looks like there's some nice areas. Unfortunately, we got to cross this to get over there. So let's see. Hui, hui, hui. Go to this tree. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a ripple of water, but it turns out it's just a plastic bag. It's disappointing. Yeah. What well, is something you have to deal with on a nature setting? I, f I think that uh, 10 plus years ago, this park was. Uh, much less upkept than it is now. Matter of fact, I'm sure of it because Columbia went through a rehabilitation program with this park. Um, so it's looking, looking much, much nicer now. Well, anyway, I kind of wanted to show you that area of the stream just because it's very rocky and bottomless. Running water, this looks to be a little more stagnant. There's somebody up there. A little more uh, stagnant here, so I'm gonna head up to the path. I'll probably do less talking just because uh, there'll be people that are thinking I'm crazy uh, just filming stuff. So, this is our uh, last trip across right here to get to over there. I'm going to have to do a couple stone steps here. Hey! Hey! Whoop! That one's kind of loose. Whoop! That one's kind of loose too. Hey! 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 Yeah, people definitely think I'm crazy. Whatever. Yeah, see, that's much more stagnant. All right, let's go up to the path. It's right up there. I'll show you the uh, good view of the power plant. Looks like this is a uh, outflow. I'm sure they cleaned the water from the power plant, whatever they're using up there. You can see they got a big machine to uh, clean the water with. I'll show you in just a second. Yeah, there you go. Kind of see it through those. Oh, the zoom isn't the best, but up kind of where those holes are. Uh, let's see if we can get a better view. Up uh, right in there, they're using water in uh, some sort of uh, process for the coal. Not sure exactly how that works, but you can see it's a coal power plant. Uh, to clean it. So water, while beautiful, has functions too. Certainly we want to uh, not only go for the latter and remember the former. Some little uh, dandelions. It's nice. Restricted area. Like I said, guys, if this goes out, uh, I apologize. Yeah, you can see right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna get close enough, but it says restricted area. This is cool. I've been down to, uh, I've been on this in this park before, and even though this park has no major waterfalls, it has some babbling books, it does have one sort of, uh, that's probably really close, uh, you can see all my sweat and everything. One, uh, <laughs> one man-made waterfall, which goes right here. It's kind of calm. You know, I guess you could rant against uh, man-made things, but uh, against the destructive nature of humanity. But. Uh, even if it's accidental, this is actually pretty nice. Walk through here. This little drain pipe. It actually exits from over there and goes under the uh, under the sidewalk. Great deep pool right there. Ooh, that'd be nice to jump in if I wasn't worried about how uh, dirty it was. I'm sure it's uh, got all sorts of nasty runoff and stuff. There we go. Hey. Okay. 
All right, well, as you can see, I am six foot nine. That's still probably really close. I'm six foot nine and cannot fully stand up in this tunnel, which is a little bit annoying when you have to walk like this down the tunnel. You can also hear the echo. But provides comedy relief for you guys. So, there you go. All right, we're out.